Hi everyone, my name is Mauro Kleider and I'm a product and database engineering manager for Amazon Redshift. I'm very excited to be here today to talk with you about cost controls for Amazon Redshift Spectrum and concurrency scaling. Amazon Redshift offers the best price to performance for your data warehousing workloads. Amazon Redshift Spectrum enables you to power a lakehouse architecture to directly query and join data across your data warehouse and data lake. And concurrency scaling enables you to power thousands of concurrent queries and users with fast query performance. Both of these features are charged based on usage. And now with cost controls, you can simply monitor and control your usage and associated costs with predictability. Now let's go to the console and see how you can create usage limits for Amazon Redshift. In your clusters detail page, you can go to the actions button and there to configure usage limit. Here you'll have two options. The first is for concurrency scaling and the second one is for spectrum. Let's go through both. With concurrency scaling, you simply choose the time period, let's say day, week, or month. And within this time period, you can decide what is the actual limit that you want to track. In this case, we'll just define 10 hours and 30 minutes and decide what action you want to take automatically once this limit is reached. In this case, I'll just log to a system table so I can track my usage. And I simply click configure and I'm done. The usage limit is set. I'm going to go through the same for Spectrum uh, to show you how the feature works with an actual query that I'm going to run. In this case, I'll just define a daily limit of one terabyte so I can hit it pretty fast. And for the actions, I'm going to ask uh, to disable the feature, which will also create a CloudWatch alarm and I'm going to also associate an SNS topic. And this will enable me to automatically notify my administrator about usage within uh, the limit. I simply configure. And here in the summary page, I can see the two usage limits that I created. Let's go and, and query the cluster and see how this feature works. I'm going to run a pretty sophisticated query that includes multiple joins uh, and filters across a petabyte size data set. This is a, a typical query that many of our customers run. And with Spectrum, this query is going to process about one terabyte or so just to hit the limit that I previously set. This is actually an interesting query where a, I'm, I'm querying an imaginary data set to understand the sales for the Harry Potter book series by J.K. Rowling. The reason why this query runs pretty fast is that it is powered by the sophisticated query optimizer of Amazon Redshift. It leverages partition elimination and compression, and it queries Parquet data set. Parquet is a common file format that is optimized for analytics. And as you can see, I got the results back pretty quickly across the entire data set. I got the release dates for the books uh, that I care about in uh, Seattle, Washington uh, for the time period that I described, 2007, July through uh, August. Now, when I try to run this query again, it will not work. And the reason why it doesn't work is that I set the limit to one terabyte and my cluster has already reached this limit. And here I get a suggestion to refer to the SL usage control, the system table essentially, that is part of the usage controls experience where I can understand this message a bit further. So in this case, I'll just run a select against this table and indeed see the usage limit uh, that I defined for Spectrum that was basically triggered by the second query that I ran. Now let's go back to the console and see the alarm that was created. I'm simply going to go to the alarms tab. And here I can see the same uh, usage ID that uh, I defined for Spectrum. One click, and I'm going to see the usage uh, that is associated with my cluster for a uh, processing external data with Spectrum. And as you can see here, my usage limit was defined for one terabyte, and I used it all. And therefore, I cannot run 
a further queries and this is again to protect my budget and make sure that I maintain it with predictability. Now, if I want to uh, revise my uh, usage limit, all I need to do is to go back to my cluster page and define uh, the usage limit that I want to have. I can either delete it or edit the usage limit with my new uh, quota and simply configure. This is the overview of the feature. I hope that you enjoy it and you'll find this feature useful. Thank you.